The United States of America is sending five aircraft carriers to the Western Pacific in a move that observers say is intended to convey a message of deterrence to China and North Korea, which are both increasing their military activities in the region. According to the South China Morning Post, out of the 11 aircraft carriers that make up the active fleet of the United States Navy, three are now carrying out missions in the Western Pacific, and two more are scheduled to arrive in the near future. When this occurs, it will be the first time that five United States carriers from the current fleet have operated in the Western Pacific in the same year. According to the observations made by the fleet, and marine tracker of the United States Naval Institute on February 5th. The aircraft carrier, USS Abraham Lincoln, which is part of the United States Pacific Fleet, was observed leaving its home port in San Diego, California, and traveling in the direction of the Western Pacific. It is also anticipated that the United States Navy aircraft carrier USS George Washington will be deployed in the Western Pacific region, taking the place of the USS Ronald Reagan. After leaving, the Yokosuka Naval Base in Japan. The latter will travel to the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in Washington in order to undergo maintenance and repairs. Both the United States Navy ships Carl Vinson and Theodore Roosevelt were sent to Guam and Hawaii, respectively, on February 12th. It is anticipated that they will remain in the Western Pacific until April and July, respectively. Benjamin Barton, an associate professor at the Malaysia branch of the University of Nottingham, stated in an interview with the newspaper that the deployment was designed to demonstrate that the United States is concentrating its attention on the Indo-Pacific area, despite the conflict between Israel and Hamas and the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. In addition, Barton stated that containing China within the region remains a top priority, even if there's been a warming of ties bilaterally. According to Colin Coe, a senior scholar at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, tensions in the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea have not shown any indications of reducing any time in recent years.
the increase in the number of military exercises and missions carried out by aircraft carriers in the United States, according to Koh, is intended to both reassure regional allies and partners, as well as deter adversaries such as China and North Korea.